Welcome back to another video and today let's talk about Infinity War and the theories of Avengers 4. The biggest question that everyone is thinking and trying to decode is the statement of Doctor Strange right after giving up this time stone, which is There was no other way. Some of the theories that are flying out there states that Doctor Strange sacrificed the time stone to save Tony Stark, especially Tony Stark. Meaning that Doctor Strange knew that Iron Man or Tony Stark has a bigger role in Avengers 4 to revive the Avengers or something. This can be true seeing that Iron Man was the movie that started the whole MCU and they would like to pay homage to RDJ as Iron Man when he retires in Avengers 4. Although this makes sense in some ways, the statement of Doctor Strange can be more than that. First, he wanted to save Iron Man because Iron Man has a major role in Avengers 4. Secondly, there is no other way than letting Thanos snap his fingers and let the remaining Avengers be victorious in Avengers 4. And thirdly, the theory that I believe more is actually, there was no other way. Okay, hear me out guys. Meaning that Doctor Strange actually sees more than 14 million possibilities and there was not actually any way possible that the Avengers was victorious. And he eventually lies to the Avengers in Titan and makes them believe that they can actually give a fight to Thanos. Here's the thing, if Doctor Strange already knows that Thanos is going to be victorious, why even bother giving a fight in Titan? We also do not know until which extent that the Time Stone allowed Doctor Strange to vision the future. Does the Time Stone actually allows Doctor Strange to see only until the snap? Or it allows Doctor Strange to see the events beyond the snap? In the comics, the Soul Gem is capable of trapping souls in its own world called the Soul World. So when Thanos snaps his fingers, he is brought for a brief moment in a world where young Gamora confronts him. Most of the speculation states that this might be the soul world and the soul of Gamora is still trapped in the soul gem. So there are high chances that Gamora can be extracted from the soul gem from the soul world in Avengers 4. We all were waiting for Hawkeye to at least pop up somewhere in the movie but he didn't. From previous set pictures and also promo posters, we can clearly see him in the sets. Meaning that there are high possibilities that Hawkeye is going to be retaining for Avengers 4 and he might take up the mantle called Ronin. This might be true because of his set pictures that clearly shows him wearing a different costume and he has also taken this mantle of Ronin in the comics for many occasions. If you didn't catch in the ending of the film, the Avengers that lived mostly comprised of the OG Avengers that featured in Avengers 2012. Captain America, Black Widow, Iron Man, Thor, Bruce Banner and Hawkeye. This can also mean that these original OG Avengers might die or retire in the next movie, paving ways to the newcomers. This is also a nice way of MCU giving a payoff to the OG Avengers that has been in this game for several years. We can actually assume that time travel will be one of the main plot in Avengers 4 because several set pictures has leaked in the net revealing that Captain America in his old costume, most notably the costume that he wore in Battle of New York. More pictures have surfaced in the net proving the possibility of time travel in Avengers 4. Most of the dead Avengers in Infinity War will be somehow revived in Avengers 4 because most of them have their sequels in the near future. Most notably Spider-Man Homecoming 2 in 2019 right after Avengers 4 and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 in 2020. Some have actually theorized that this can actually be prequels and not sequels. But in my opinion, I think otherwise. In the post credit scene of Infinity War, we actually get to see Nick Fury paging someone before disintegrating. And we get to see the symbol of Captain Marvel in the pager. And most of us know that next year, before Avengers 4, we will be getting Captain Marvel. And this movie is supposedly to be set in the 90s. Kevin Feige, producer of the MCU, even stated that Captain Marvel will be by far the strongest character introduced in the MCU. We also know that the villains of this movie will be the Skrulls an alien race that is able to shapeshift themselves and also copy the powers of certain heroes. Some also actually believe that the villains of Avengers 4 could be the Skrulls. Secret Invasion is a plot in the comics where the Skrulls actually placed sleeper agents in Earth and also the heroes of the Avengers in the bigger idea of taking over the Earth. Secret Invasion will be a really good story for the near future of the MCU 
but for Avengers 4, I don't think so. So these are based on my opinions, I hope they make sense. Comment down below if you have any theories or any comments based on my opinions. Let's discuss. With that, subscribe, thank you and I'll see you in the next one.